Yeah, it's raining again tonight and you can almost hear the apples growing. Take a look at this. We're about halfway through the apple season and despite the huge crowds they had at this you pick farm over the weekend, they barely made a dent in this year's harvest. <sighs> Apple grower Mike Smolik lifts some of the tree branches weighted down with heavy clumps. In a less great year, you might have only had one or two, where we, yes. here we have four. Right. Across the region, the New England Apple Association predicts that instead of the typical 73,000 tons of apples, this year's harvest could produce as many as 84,000 tons, about a 14% bump. I have to say that this is one of the largest crops that I've ever seen here on this farm. Growers credit a lack of late frost last spring, which helped the apple blossoms survive, combined with steady rains throughout the summer. Both help grow the fruit round and plump. I don't want to go on a limb and say it's one for the record books. I, I don't really, we don't have a really good, you know, way to measure all those apples. It may be close. But even a record crop might not be enough to bring down apple prices. Apple growers say that's because they're paying more for supplies and farm labor has always been tight. At Mike Smolik's farm, his customers are his pickers, but he doesn't want to let the harvest finish with apples left on the tree. So he plans to start giving some away to military members and veterans. Because I'd rather it go to some place than, than, than no place, and they deserve it. Now, if you're like me and you find yourself always with too many apples, remember there is a good way to keep them. You want to put them in a cold but not freezing location with relatively high humidity. Your fridge is ideal if you run out of space there. The basement will do okay. Whatever you do, do not leave these on the kitchen counter. Yep. What? Live in North Andover, David B. Really? WCBB what? News Don't five. leave them on the counter, David. I know they look good there. They look beautiful, yeah. but that's the best way to lose yeah. them. If you're going to leave them there, ask my wife for her apple crisp <laughs> recipe right away. By the way, when you come back, you can put them right on this counter. They won't even last. We 10 minutes. won't take them. That's another thing you can do with them. All <laughs> Thanks, right, David. David thank.